Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited for this video because I wanted to get this fragrance for such a long time. It's very expensive, but you guys, their presentation is just stunning. I haven't seen anything like this in the perfume world before and I guess you also pay for the packaging. Now this is from Flora Cool. I hope I pronounced that right and it's called One Umbrella for Two. So it comes in a box like this. It's a blue box. It's metal by the way and this is plastic. And then you guys this is what it looks like on the inside. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. The bottle is just like to die for. It's so pretty. Now, you guys, this is very cool. So you have the bottle right here, right? Which comes like this. I hope it's going to stay and not fall. Stay. Okay. Okay, so the bottle comes like this. With this cap and there's umbrellas here. It's a white bottle. It's very pretty. Now, you guys... So this is what you do. So by the way, okay, this is in 50 ml right here and you have a travel spray right here in 10 ml. So this is what you do. It comes basically with a case for this travel spray. So you take out the cap like this. Then you put the travel spray in here like this. And then you have a cap for it. which goes like that and this is it and now you have a nice travel case isn't that pretty isn't that cool like I think it's genius I can't believe they thought of that I this is like the first house that's doing this I think it's really cool I absolutely love it and then of course you have a small cap right here for the bottle to leave at home or if you just don't want to carry that bulky bottle you can just do that and there you go I still can't get over it how cool the bottle looks you guys it's just so beautiful I couldn't wait to have this on my counter it's gorgeous it's definitely unique and different you know I haven't seen anything like this before okay so let's talk about the scent itself now you guys I think this is the best gourmand fragrance out there hands down I think that this is actually even better than Lyra even though that these two fragrances are completely different, but you know, they always say that Lyra is the best Gourmand out there or Italica. But in my opinion, this is it. You guys, okay, so first of all, Flora Cool doesn't give a lot of notes as far as I know. There's only three notes on Fragrantica. I believe it's black currant, green tea, and musk. I could be wrong. Um, but this is basically a black currant scent. And there's lots and lots of green tea in here. Now, you guys, this smells like the most realistic blueberry muffin. Can you believe that? I haven't had a black currant muffin, so I like I can't really picture what that would smell like. I mean, I could, but definitely smells like a blueberry muffin. It smells like a bakery. It's insane. I wouldn't say that it smells um, spicy. I don't smell any cinnamon in here. It just smells like a very fresh muffin that was just taken out, out of the oven. It's absolutely insane. So imagine you're having brunch or lunch somewhere in Paris and you're having this a very like strong brewed green tea and you're having a blueberry muffin or a blackcurrant muffin and this is what it smells like you guys it smells so yummy I just want to eat this I'm not even joking oh my god to me this is the best gourmand out there now let's talk about the performance so I think that the performance is not the best with this fragrance in my opinion it is not now, I read reviews on Fragrantica where people say this is very long-lasting, the projection is absolutely amazing. I feel like this is more of a skin scent. I do not feel like it projects. It does project for the first half an hour, maybe an hour, but after that, I feel like it sits very, very close to the skin. And I wouldn't say that this is long lasting either. I mean, I tried spraying this on my clothes and my hair. It does stay on my hair, but on the skin, 
it just it becomes so light and faint that at that point like i always say this at that point to me it's not a fragrance anymore it's like a ghost fragrance like what is the point if you can barely smell it and if other people can't smell it you know what i mean so to me it's more of a skin scent i mean i wore this only a few times i'm gonna keep wearing it and see uh if my opinion is gonna change if the formula changes a little bit by sitting in the closet but i don't know i don't think it's that strong and that's a bummer for me because i think this fragrance is absolutely amazing absolutely gorgeous i love it so much this is definitely one of my favorites now and by the way you guys i forgot to mention this so there's black currant in here green tea i think there's musk and there's also cedar in here i smell a lot of cedar so basically this is how this fragrance plays around so you spray this and in the opening you smell a lot of black currant uh, some people smell blueberry whatever it is you basically get that very gourmand scent you get that blueberry muffin and then it kind of settles down and you can definitely smell the green tea it becomes more green you smell something green in here and then i would say after a few hours like three or four i get a lot of cedar in the base all i smell is the cedar wood in here yeah like if i just smell it out of the bottle like that all i smell is the blueberry muffin i do not smell um the cedar in here but on the skin that's what i get i think it's absolutely gorgeous i love it i if you're a gourmand lover you definitely need this in your collection guys trust me you definitely need this in your collection i'm not even joking and i mean the packaging just look at the packaging how can you resist this like you can't presentation is just gorgeous it's gorgeous you guys look at that stunning i also want to try um other fragrances from their house this is the only fragrance that i tried and this was a blind buy and i basically knew that i can't go wrong with this fragrance because i mentioned this in my other videos that usually i tend not to blind buy fragrances unless if i really know that i'm gonna like it most of the times it's something sweet and gourmand so i knew that i can't go wrong with a blueberry muffin or black curd muffin whatever it is <laughs> and some green tea you know so yeah guys if you still haven't tried this you definitely need to don't hesitate don't wait just try it okay thank you so much for watching this video let me know what you think let me know if you have this fragrance in your collection I know that this house is not mentioned a lot for some reason maybe because of its price i don't know but i heard that their fragrances are really great and like i said i want to try some other ones they have a great um, sample kit i'm gonna leave a link down below for the sample kit so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye